Why Life is Strange is so good. In my opinion, Life is Strange is one of the greatest stereo mode games ever created. Stereo mode games are games that、um, offer player choice and has a set storyline. However, I do have five reasons that Life is Strange separates itself from the others. It's like watching an amazing movie, but you have control over the outcomes of it. Before anything, I would like to say that there are some small spoilers in this video, so you, if you have not played it, I'm just warning you. Number one, the soundtrack. The atmosphere, even on the start screen, makes you feel warm.、Um, this is "Golden Hour" by Jonathan Morali. Makes me feel like it's fall again,、um, while the sun's still out and wind's kind of hitting you.、It、gives me a nostalgic feeling, like I'm Max on the first day of high school. Every other song on here is calming, at the same time nostalgic. To all of you, makes me feel like I'm driving from my hometown and moving into my college dorm. Mount Washington by Local Natives and Obstacles by one and by the one and only Sid Matters are my two favorites. Changing weather. Someday we will foresee obstacles through the blizzard. Through the blizzard. Today, both ending songs, but make you feel like you finished a great TV show.、Um, as the closing song kind of finishes it off. Number two, it's the emotions. Excuse me for sounding like an old English teacher, but it's true. Chloe and Max's relationship is depicted in a way that feels like you've been with them all these years. When Max flashes back in the past, you can kind of see how their friendship grows, how they were just kids and now they're in this giant mess. The alternate storyline where we choose to or to give or to not to give morphing to Chloe. That's why the final decision of the storyline is so emotional for so many people, because of all the build up from an amazing friendship. Picking a side between two people, like with Chloe and Warren, is really fun to me, and like kind of shows who you like more, why this choice over this choice, and the romance, although small part, makes everything even better. The pogo cards makes everything nostalgic while adding to the plot. The diary and tablet is always interesting to read. Number three, graphics and scenery. The pauses between each scene, the way you can interact with everything, makes it feel like you're living in Blackwell. Even though you're looking at some papers, taking a seat, opening a window, won't affect the plot. It's one of the biggest things I appreciate about LIS for doing. It makes it feel all too well and makes the player feel like they're breathing in the girls' dormitories, as if they're in Max's shoes. Turning up the music, just sitting on the couch and just living, and I just feel like that's one of the most important parts about LIS and what I enjoy probably the most out of it. Another thing about the graphics is like I really like the sunshine. It makes me feel warm, and even on the scenes where Clary is paralyzed, it's a peaceful feeling, and it's what they probably want to achieve. Number four, the plot. I like how the plot is mostly focused on friendship and emotions rather than solving a puzzle. I mean, yes, there are times when you're just being a detective, and、uh, sometimes it does get boring and kind of frustrating, but you'll get through it. Anyways,、um, most of the game is interacting and talking with people, and that not only builds emotion, it's way more fun. Doing all this while having a huge conflict makes it a really enjoyable experience. The final parts of the game, such as the nightmare, the bunker, everything unfolding, and the final decision, I would give the plot a nine out of ten. All these are, of course, in my opinion. I I can't even lie. I think this game is amazing, like truly amazing. And I just wanted to make this video just to showcase that. But thanks for watching, and leave your thoughts on LIS if you played it before in the comments below.